Welcome to another edition of the Hoop Scoop. I'm Jared Johnson, and boy, I got some nice news to share. I know this Red Raider Nation has really been waiting patiently, in most cases, uh, to find out exactly what Texas Tech men's basketball's non-conference schedule is going to be. The Big 12 schedule has been announced. Um, that 18-game schedule for the Red Raiders, which uh, Bradley Fernandez broke down in great detail inside the Red Raiders. You can check it out there. But then on Wednesday, Texas Tech announced its non-conference schedule. And this has been in the works. And I, you know, I mentioned some things on the board about, okay, this is what we think is going to happen. But so many things have changed. It was so fluid. I didn't really want to report it as any kind of fact. I wanted to let it, just let it run its course, let Texas Tech announce it. And if there's changes from there, then, hey, you know, don't blame me. So, but they did announce it, and I actually really like the way it sets up. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, let me go ahead and break down the unconference games. Let me list them for you so you know. On uh, November 25th is when they tip off the season. That's when NCAA basketball tips off. And I think Texas Tech, it's, this is going to be a day game. And one of the first games in all of college basketball at the USA there against Northwestern State. Uh, this is a team, at least from my recollection, that made, has made the tournament several times. I remember them being you know, in the bracket. So, I honestly, at the top of my head, I don't know what their program looks like right now, uh, what, what their roster looks like. But I would say as a team that's you know, in the tournament on, on a semi-regular basis, it's somebody to be aware of there. It's not your normal opening day push over there. And then uh, a couple days later, Sam Houston State back at the USA. Then Texas Tech goes to Fort Worth to take on a very good Houston squad. You know, uh, that's going to be quite the matchup there. Uh, you know, Houston's been a tournament team uh, under Coach Sampson. Uh, they've been a good defensive team, a hard-nosed team. And the fact this is a, a neutral side game there at uh, Fort Worth at Dickey's Arena uh, is really interesting. I know Coach Beer has been wanting to play there since that new arena opened up. So that's one to watch for sure. And then, right after that, man, Tech returns home uh, just, you know, a couple days later, a handful of days later, and they play St. John's. They host St. John's as part of the uh, Big East Big 12 matchup. So that's that's another intriguing uh, matchup there. All right, then the Red Raiders host Grambling State at home on December 6th. Uh, three days later, they host Abilene Christian on December 9th, that's a Wednesday. And then another neutral site game in the Metroplex. Texas Tech takes on Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Uh, there is actually in Frisco um, at the Comerica Center. And that's where the Texas Legends plays. And that's, um, of course, the, the farm system uh, program for the Dallas Mavericks. So the D-League team for the Dallas Mavericks. So that ought to be fun, too. Another game in the Metroplex for, of course, huge Red Raider fan base there. Uh, and then it gets real. This, then they go into conference right after that. Uh, you know, five days later, they host Kansas. Texas Tech opens up big play at home against Kansas. And then they finish their schedule in December uh, uh, at Oklahoma. And, and I mentioned these two conference games because it's interesting because then between December 22nd and January 2nd, there is no conference games. But the Red Raiders will host Incarnate Word. Uh, I think, honestly, just to stay fresh, not to get too... Uh, I don't want to say lack of days ago, but you know what I mean. Not to lose their edge there, keep their chip, as Coach Beard likes to say. Um, and then they get back in the heavily into Big 12 play. And uh, really, it's all Big 12 play except for the uh, non conference game, the Big 12 SEC Challenge game at LSU, which LSU is, you know, a ranked preseason ranked team, and, um, you know, expected to be a tough matchup for the Red Raiders. So, you know, this, this schedule looks like a lot of fun. I mean, a couple of notes for me is that, you know, of course, most of the games are at home. I don't think they play outside of Texas. Uh, you can, even those non-conference games are in the Metroplex, which is very definitely, uh, you know, friendly confines. That's like a home, another home base for Texas Tech. I don't think they play uh, out of Texas until they play Oklahoma uh, in late December in that Big 12 game. So that just gives you an idea of what Texas Tech is doing and how they're going to be close to, to home base. And, Part of that is, you know, I think Beard likes to do that anyways, but also Coach Beard mentioned in a, in a prior press conference that, you know, with Corona, travel is definitely so much more complicated. I think it's even more complicated than I think for, for football teams, even, even with the smaller numbers, just because there's so many more games. So you really can't travel out of state like they would have wanted to. You know, originally they were going to be in Vegas. They are going to be in some other places, New York. Um, and that's just not feasible. Uh, this this season 
for obvious reasons. So I like the schedule. I mean, considering how much they had to scramble, how fluid it was for a long for a while uh, for Texas Tech. Uh, I'm looking forward to like those Houston games, the, the San, St. John's games, the LSU game. You know, even the Northwestern State game in the opener should be intriguing. So I like the schedule. It's going to be difficult. Then again, Texas Tech has, has loaded up. Uh, Coach Beer's loaded up this roster. I expect him to be very competitive in every game. Um, and I just can't wait for what is expected to be one of the best basketball seasons in the history of Texas Tech. So November 25th. You know, three weeks away as of today. Can't wait. So with that, I want to thank you for watching. And until next time.